Hi folks, this is Jeffik. Today I want to talk about a new feature introduced in version 94 of the face library which was officially released on July 31. This version brings the confidence score, a long-awaited addition that improves how we interpret face verification results. Previously, when you used the verify function, the response only included a verified key with a boolean value, either true or false. That's what we call a hard classification, simply telling you whether two faces belong to the same person or different persons. The result also included a distance value. Smaller values meant the faces looked more similar, but the numbers were hard to understand for human beings. Now, with version 94, the face builds a logistic regression model behind the scenes and returns to a confidence score between 0 and 100. A score from 51 to 100 means the model believes the faces belong to the same person and also a sticker from 0 to 49 suggests that they are different people. So in addition to boolean verified field you know get a confidence score that tells you how sure the model is about its prediction. The higher the score for the confidence the more confident the model is. This feature is not available only face verification functionality. It's also available in find function, which refers to face recognition. Also, it's available in the real-time analyst stream function. Let's give it a try. I'm going to import the face and required OpenCV and Matplotlib libraries. In my first experiment, I'm going to use image1.jpg and image2.jpg. Let's see the content of those images. Those are the input images. They are both belonging to Angelina Julie. If I run verify function of the face, I'm going to get the confidence score. As you can see, the result is true. This means this face pair is same person and this is the confidence score, 76%. As expected, it should be scaled in 51 and 100% because this image pair is same person. Similarly, this feature is available under find function. If I run find function for the image1.jpg, I'm going to get a pandas data frame in the result. And as you can see, confidence is available as a dedicated column. As expected, in the first row of the pandas data frame is the identical image and its confidence score as 100%. Let's check the second row, image 11 underscore reflection at confidence score is 81%. What if I run this experiment for image pair of different persons? I'm going to use image1.jpg and image3.jpg and run the same notebook. As you can see, the first image is belonging to Angelina Julie and second image is belonging to Jennifer Aniston. Let's check the result of the verify function. This time I'm going to get the verified k false. This means they are different persons. Distance is very high and as you can see the confidence score is 2%. So the model is very confident while making this classification. Now your turn. Give it a try and let me know what you think. I believe this update makes the face even more transparent and powerful for real world applications. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the face.